Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another part of Project E46 series. So today I am back at DA Design Studio uh, to check out all the progress on the part installations of the parts which you saw in the last video. Starting off with the KW coilovers. Well, I know this part was not uh, shown to you in the last video, but this came in as it was in transit last time when we shot the video. So these are KW Street Comfort uh, coilovers. I know KW offer uh, the V1, V2, V3 and also the club sport, uh, but this was particularly, uh, particularly picked because uh, it will be the right uh, balance of uh, ride comfort and aggressive street driving performance required for uh, typical Indian conditions, you know, the bad road conditions which we uh, stay in. At the same time, there was another reason which uh, I picked the street comfort coilovers over the more aggressive uh, track oriented uh, coilovers by KW, uh, majorly because uh, the street comfort offer the minimum drop and uh, the minimum drop uh, is 5 mm uh, and the maximum drop you can go up to as low as 20 mm lower than the stock setting. So right now it has been uh, placed at 5 mm uh, to accommodate uh, uh, the, the larger tires and wheels at the same time to give a decent amount of uh, ground clearance very much required to clear uh, the speed breakers out here in India. Okay, now moving on to the big brake kit. Let me just turn it around for you. Oh yeah, so it's sitting really pretty here and uh, the caliper has been placed at around uh, 3 o'clock position uh, to give it a very aggressive look and overall I love the rotors, how it is, uh, how it has been finished and the calipers, <laughs> I just can't stop praising them and I literally cannot wait to get a feel of them on the road. Okay, so for the description of other parts, I like to take the car a bit more up. I think that should do. Alright, so right now I am standing exactly where my sport control arms are and they have been placed and they fit perfectly which is a great thing and also right here you can see uh, the link rods which has also also been uh, attached uh, to the new coilover and uh, to this part here. Overall this entire fitment looks perfect but the tie rods are not done yet and that is for a reason because uh, we when we saw the car on the lift we observed that there is a good amount of uh, leakage in the steering rack which is not a good thing but at the same time it is understandable uh, in such an old car we had two options whether to repair the steering rack or uh, replace the steering rack so thankfully DA design had a spare steering rack with them which is right here placed in front of me so this is uh, you know a sparingly used uh, steering rack from an E46 as well and uh, thankfully it looks in great shape so this should go in right about here and uh, make things uh, handle just like it has rolled out of the showroom and after when this is done we will have uh, the new tie rods uh, going on to the steering rack and uh, firm things up as per the car has just rolled out of its showroom back in 2001. Okay, as a precautionary measure, we are going to change uh, this part, uh, which is a rubber uh, uh, part, which they call it as a flex disc. It connects uh, the propeller shaft, uh, which is the drive shaft with uh, the gearbox. And uh, it is showing age and uh, definitely it needs a replacement. And it's always good to replace uh, the old rubber parts and uh, which we are uh, anyway doing as a precaution. So why not this? So this is going to be changed. And speaking of precaution, we already did uh, do, uh, remember the subframe reinforcement. So this is the work of the subframe re reinforcement. Okay, I'm sorry about uh, the underbody being so uh, dirty and unclean. Uh, we are going to be, once the car is complete, a proper underbody wash. So don't worry about that and don't pour in the comment section that what a shabby underbody and all that. So sorry for that in advance. Uh, 
coming to the bushings uh, as i said uh, we had ordered around 16 to 17 bushings and all have been placed in all these areas one of them has gone here couple of them here four of them here so most of them cannot be seen but it's all in there all the bushings for the rare and the rare suspension components subframe the rare differential bushings a lot of other bushings every bushing you can think of for the rare of the e46 has been dealt with and changed for the good okay so now let's discuss the rare brakes uh, these are again stop tech rotors uh, but we had a small setback when it came to the calipers uh, because uh, these rotors were pretty thick and we were under the impression that the stock uh, calipers would fit uh, these rotors but it was not the case so let me just show you the older caliper so this was the older caliper it was not fitting on to the rotor thankfully again the design had a larger caliper in stock and by larger it was uh, the m3 caliper m3 rare brake caliper so we have placed the m3 rare brake caliper onto the stop tech rotors with the m3 pads uh, completing uh, the entire performance uh, uh, braking solution for the rare to match uh, the performance braking solution uh, big brake kit of the front okay so now we've seen all the parts onto the car and uh, right now i have also the wheels with me with freshly mounted tires uh, which we should test fit them onto the car right now so let's uh, just check them out they are in my fortune right now wow what a feeling Alright, so the wheels are onto the car as a test fit and they look stunning to say the least. Uh, a bit about the tyres, I have selected uh, Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tyres. Uh, these are the best available in the market here in India today. Uh, and the size is 245-40 R18. I have gone in for a slightly aggressive setup uh, because uh, I say aggressive because this is the one which is going to be a squared setup and not a staggered one so 245 on all corners so that will keep uh, whatever uh, understeer is there in check at the same time the oversteery fun will start once the tires start giving in and show age i don't want them to understeer just yet i want them to grip and grip pro properly that is the reason 245s so for the looks as well as the handling 245s will be the perfect thing happening for this e46 so more on the wheels, uh, we selected 18 inches for a reason. I wanted uh, to be sure and that is the reason I had calculated uh, that the big brake kit should uh, uh, get cleared with these rims and that is the reason we selected a 35 offset, slightly aggressive offset and 18 inch rims, 18 into 8.5 to be specific. And I am really happy with the setup. The ex it looks extremely satisfying to just look at it. Uh, on the car right now so that's it from me in this video i will see you guys and join you back in the next video till then thanks for watching